Hey what is up guys, Tava here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to speed ramp in Final Cut Pro. Now speed ramping is a pretty underrated technique that can really enhance an edit, and it's extremely simple to do. First off, for shooting your footage, it's better to have it in slow motion, 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second. This way you can slow down some of the footage and make it look more dramatic. Also, speed ramps look better if there's some motion in front of the camera that's moving by, like you can see in this tree shot right here. So what I'm going to do is drag the part of the movement, and I have it selected right here, into my timeline. And what I can see is right now, it's just a steady clip that goes from point A to point B at the same speed. The end has a quick spin-off, which is ideal for speed ramping, but it's not necessary. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the area that I want to be slow. And I want it right here when these leaves pass away and this area is in focus. So I'm going to select that point, and on my keyboard, I'm going to press Shift B. And what this does is it separates the speed of the one clip into two different sections. Now what you see are these little tabs here and you can pull them either direction to either slow down or speed up your clips. And you can see this gray area here is the fading between the two different speeds. So in this clip I want the beginning to be fast, the middle to be slow, and the end to be fast. So I'm going to go to the end of the middle section that I want slow, right about here, press shift B again, and make this center portion. Now what I'm going to do with the center portion is drag out the little tab here. And since this was shot at 60 frames per second, I can slow it down to 40%. So I'm going to slow it down to 40%. You can also click here and choose custom speeds or any of the ones given. So now as you can see, if I play this back, the beginning's normal, the middle part slowed down, and the ending's normal. So that looks good. You can see the beginning of the speed ramp, but I want it to be more dramatic. So what you do is you drag this first point all the way back as far as you want. I can bring it back all the way here to about 1500%. You can see when I play it back, it comes in very fast and snaps in. And I can do the same to the outro. Bring this back all the way to about 500 or 1000 percent. And you can adjust these based on the visual preference that you want, whether you want it really fast or slower. It gives you a lot of leeway. So now if I play this back, you can see that it snaps in quick, goes slow, and then cuts out. And if you're tying two shots together, that can give a really cool look. For example, let me add in another clip right here. I want the beginning to be fast and then for it to go slow. So I'm going to select a point towards the middle, press Shift B, and then speed this up way, way, way up. And in this situation, it's not going to drag that well, so I'm just going to click on it, go to Custom, and change the speed to about 2000%. You can see now that that's really fast, and if I play this back, you can see how it cuts from one shot to another pretty seamlessly. So that's a really cool technique you can use. And again, then I can slow down the last part even slower to 40% or whatever I want, and that adds a more dramatic effect. So you can see here, this is pretty cool, and it's extremely easy to do. Also, if you want to take it a step further, you can add transition sounds between the clips, and that adds a really cool effect. So that's how you speed ramp inside of Final Cut Pro. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.